Welcome to Yukanic. Uh, today here on Yukanic, we have a 2014 Chevy uh, Cruze. On this Chevy, we are going to go over the process to be able to remove your motor mount. In case you need to remove uh, the motor mount to replace it, and or if you're replacing your serpentine belt. To be able to replace this uh, the serpentine belt on here, you do need to either remove the top portion of the motor mount or just enough that you can raise and lower the engine to be able to get the belt out because it's it's on that inside of that motor mount. So that being said, we will be able to undo the bolts that we need to to undo that motor mount and remove it from this vehicle. So to start with, you would uh, disconnect your negative battery cable because anything you do in the engine, it doesn't hurt to have that negative battery cable disconnected. And then we need to remove the air box and get that out of our way, whether you separate it right here with a seven millimeter or you could even do it here. We're down here on top of the turbo, and we have it unhooked at the top of the turbo. We have one electrical connector right here that goes to our mass airflow sensor. We undo that, and we're going to set that aside. And then we just pull up on this air box and pull it out. It's held on by some little rubber grommets. And then once we get that up and out of the way, we now have the access that we need. Now, you will need to support the bottom of the engine, whether you use a jack or whether you use one of those crossbars that hook to the hook here uh, to hold the engine up when you remove these bolts. So uh, we have three uh, 15 millimeter bolts here and two 15 millimeter bolts here and that looks, it might be one size smaller, but we'll see, All right? So we remove these, we have it supported with the jack under there. Here we go. Upon installation, these bolts here, you tighten to 46 foot pounds on these uh, three bolts that go right here. These bolts here are at 50. So that's all the bolts for this motor mount to be able to be removed, whether you're replacing the motor mount or just to need to separate it to get your uh, uh, serpentine belt off. So. Um, if you were just doing the serpentine belt, you don't have to take off the whole unit because you can be able to slide your belt down around there, but it's really not that hard. And then we just pop this whole thing out. And now we have a lot of easier access to be able to get um, to our serpentine belt to be able to replace that. And we can do a, a good inspection with our um, motor mount here to... Uh, see whether we need to replace the rubber grommets in there. Now, if you needed to take this portion off, that's another three bolts that goes around there to remove that portion of the motor mount, which they are still a size 15. Mount on, and so there's a couple of reasons why you would take the motor mount off, or at least split it, and that's number one, if you're replacing your serpentine belt, you will need to remove it to be able to get the belt out to replace it and then the other one is if you have to do anything behind here so we need to get our motor mount put back on so that we can support the engine to be able to get our other support bar off to do the um, the top uh, valve cover gasket so we have uh, the three bolts that go right here the large bolts that go through there for the um, and so we need to just kind of get our motor mount in there get our bolts to go in All right, so we've got our uh, bolts there. They're in a bit. We're going to uh, tighten them up. Which they are a 15 millimeter. All right, so the uh, motor mounts to the engine. 40, uh, 46 foot pound. I 
I gotta go down from below to get the bottom one and then we'll be able to put this portion up on top here. So we have the rest of our motor mount here. And these are uh, 46 here with uh, 50 to the, uh, the frame side. All right, so I'm going to torque these to 50 and then um, be able to put the uh, serpentine tensioner back on, uh, which the uh, serpentine belt tensioner, the alternator will go back on and we will get to the stage where we can do um, put the valve cover on and tighten that all back down. So that's the components of putting on your, your motor mount on your 1.4 liter engine of a, a Chevy vehicle. Thanks for watching Eucanic where you can be the mechanic.